hey guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in for another video today i think i'm going to be playing with this lighter case mode that i just received from timu and it is a little bit dirty because i did use it already but i'm not concerned about that because most likely i will be using the same colors anyways and i also got these J Diction um, colored UV resin and it comes in a eight pack. So I'm gonna be using these here. Get my angle right. There they go. So I have out right now the purple, lavender, and black, but it also comes with a green, red, blue, white, and yellow. So I'm gonna put those to the side and let's figure out what I'm gonna do with this. So, this is a pretty deep mold and I'm not sure if you're supposed to use UV resin with this mold, but it works. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did. And I also think that I'm going to actually put some glitter in it so I use that pink glitter here and then I'm gonna um, see I'm not sure what I want to do I probably should have had a plan before I got on camera huh that probably would have been a better idea but yeah so I'm going to grab some of these flakes. No, you know what? I'm going to grab some of this gold, like copper glitter. I don't know. It's like an orange color. But I think that'd be cute. It's like a Dunkin' Donuts kind of thing. Oh, my phone is just going off. Delivery notification. My team order is here some more molds so let's see I'm going to go ahead and mix so I got my silicone cup here it's kind of dirty so I'm gonna clean this out some alcohol spray paper towel and wipe that out Sorry for the noise. Okay. So now that we got that together. Still some glitter in there, but I'm about to use some glitter anyway, so it really don't matter. Okay, and I'm also going to be using... Oh, didn't even close the top all the way. I'm also going to be using this um, UV resin hard. I'm not really sure of the brand's name, but I got it from Amazon. And of course, it's a buying item. But this stuff is good. Like, I can legit refer to this one because every project that I've made, it's come out perfectly. And it's like crystal clear with very little bubbles. And I'm not even like really trying to get the bubbles out because I have a torch, but I've already messed up one mold using the torch. So I'm not going to use it anymore. It also has heat gun function, but I find that it doesn't really do anything. So I'm just going to spray it with alcohol and hope that it works. Um, I think that this mold needs about uh, 30 maybe. MLs, I think. I don't remember. 
I know this time though, I'm going to write down how much I use on the mold so I can remember. I've seen that on one lady's channel, but, um, this bottle, as you can see, is pretty almost empty. Well, it is empty and I'm going to just squeeze out the rest of this and it's going to make a whole bunch of bubbles because I'm trying to get every last bit of it out. And I'm just going to put the top on and put it over here upside down. Okay, so now, okay, these are very opaque. I have used them before. So I, what I'm going to do is mix it with some of this clear resin to get like a very translucent purple. And then I'm going to put the glitters in. So I'm just going to try to get this to the 30 line. And I think I'm actually going to put some of this lavender in also. You know what? No, I'm just going to leave it purple. Let me use this orange glitter. Let me use some of this pink glitter. And these both are fine glitters. And I'm just dumping a healthy amount in there. Use my little spatula tool and mix it. It looks pretty in, in this mold, but we all know that it's going to come out lighter in the actual pour. So, but I'm happy with that. Let's see if I can show you. That's what it's looking like. So, let's get our mold, move these out the way. And I'm just going to start pouring my resin in. And since I've already done this before, I have some suggestions for you guys. If you're going to use UV resin to do a mold like this, I'm also going to try it with an even deeper mold. Wish me luck. But I have a 50 watt LED lamp that is actually made for screen printing and when I tell you it is massive compared to these UV modes or these modes in general so I turn on my LED lamp let it cure from the top and I also put on my little mini UV lamp nail lamp that I also got from Amazon and I just place it on the bottom of it in the middle of the cure and that worked perfectly fine for me it literally came out perfect so I'm not filling it all the way to the top just yet because I don't want overflow when I do a little squeegee at the bottom to try to make sure that my resin is all the way down there. I'm just squeezing it. Make sure my resin is good and in, in there. And I'm going in underneath the mold with my finger and just squeezing it. I'm just taking it all the way around to make sure I have resin all the way in there. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of alcohol. One more. Squeeze that again. See if any bubbles come up. 
think we're all good. Now I'm just going to fill that up. And you definitely don't want this one to overflow because that bottom is literally going to stand on its own. So you want to make sure you get it to an even height. And I think that's perfect. Now, I have some leftover resin here, so I have some extra molds. So let me grab one so I can use this resin before I turn this light on and I can cure both at the same time. You can see how both come out. Okay, so I decided to go to the door and grab my Timu package. And I was going to use this little mold, but I decided... I'm just going to go ahead and pour this one and see how it comes out. So we can test this little Timu mode. So of course I'm going to need not some more resin. So let's grab this bottle that I turned over and see what it did. Yay, we can get the rest out. It's actually way more than I thought was in there, huh? Okay. Don't do that same process over again. And I'm going to mix some more of this purple in here. Let's see what we can get out of here again. Okay. Good thing that came with two bottles of resin and they are actually quite large. Um, each bottle is a 250 grams of resin and I've done a lot of practicing with resin so I think I've done quite a bit of projects I've made me and my daughter have made um, quite a bit of necklaces we've done some beveled beveled uh, pendant necklaces and uh, we have did a square pendant in that little silicone mode over there that I got from Timu. And they all came out great using UV resin. So I need some assistance with this. So let me take my little wood, poke that. I don't know why I was struggling with that so hard, but put the top back on, wipe my finger. And let's mix, continue to mix this. So I think maybe about 20 should be good. I'm just guessing here. I'm no pro at all. I am going to add more glitter. Yeah, I think I'm going to add more glitter for sure. Mm, do I want to? Yeah, why not? Let's add some more glitter. And that was a bad idea because it just sprinkled all over my spatula instead of inside my resin. So I'm not going to repeat that again.
and mix. Try and get all that glitter coated because if it's not coated, it will be sharp edges and you will have to foul, which is easy because I literally just used a white um, nail bit, well, nail head bit attachment for my manicure drill. So works perfectly. And it's a two in one system. It has the UV light in the drill. So it's perfect. And I got it from Amazon, of course. So just going to go ahead and pour this. Try and get all this resin off of this here. Okay, so let's just pour this in here. Oh, these are really shallow, shallow cavities. So you want to pour slow. So you make sure you can get in every crevice. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I am really concentrating on this. I'm trying not to get any overspill because then I'm going to have to foul it. And I don't want to lose the shine on this at all. So... Okay, wait, let's see a little. Okay, I think that is good. So now we still have some extra. So I guess I am going to wind up. Go ahead and pour this little pendant here for my daughter because she would definitely love it. And this should use the rest of this. Okay, I'm not getting those 
trying not to have my hand in the way, but yeah. We gonna have to get our camera location a little bit better. Okay, that is all done. Now we have lots of bubbles. So I'm hoping that this whole alcohol thing works. Let's give it a go. Oh, wow. That kind of worked a lot. Okay. I'm happy with that. Okay. All right, let's move all this stuff out the way. I do not need my dotting tool. I am just going to go for it at this point. I think everything's good. Do have a little bit of overspill right here that I wanna, oh no, that's not even connected, it's fine. Yep. Okay, guys. So we have our lamp set for 300 seconds equals out to five minutes. And let's speed this up and hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see, they're turned upside down. <clears throat> as I mentioned before, I was going to use my mini lamp and cure them from the bottom, but then I would have to do them all individually. So I decided to just flip them all over. And I think. Oh, that feels very soft. So, yeah, I don't think that's ready at all. Mm, what happened there? Okay, I guess I am going to have to. So, I'm going to take Is that like oozing at the top or something. Hmm, I'm so confused here. It's like the middle is like squishy. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't really want to squish it, but you know, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, didn't mean to turn on the drill. Turn on the UV light. And I am going to put that on top of there. This one, I feel like should definitely be done. But at this point, I really don't even want to take a chance. Like the top is definitely cured, but with that being squishy still, I'm not confident in this. I should have definitely probably took the little daughter tool to this. Because even though I pour it slow, I feel like there's some gaps. Okay. So, you know what? Let's undo this one. 
if this one came out good then I'm confident in this one to come out because it's about the same thickness Um, yeah, that mold's completely dry. And that's how that came out. It's not sticky. Don't see any fingerprints coming up. Yeah. So, that's how that came out. Okay. And you know what? This is still a little squishy to me. So I'm going to do it one more time with the mini light. This thing's just so finicky. Did it go dead? It probably went dead on me. Okay, so got that back working. Um, yes, I'm still trying to make sure that this is completely done before I take this out because I want it to be perfect and it's literally coming away from the mold already so I think it's gonna be good I don't know though there's some glitter stuck down to the bottom which gives me some concern hmm is done though I'm gonna just go for it and unmold this and hope for the best and one thing this thing is pretty on there Okay, so if you guys haven't noticed, I've literally been playing with resin for maybe a week or so. See, there's glitter stuck down in there. And there's so, several holes in here. So, I'm going to have to fix that, which l looks to be like it's going to be super easy to do. I'm a little bored here. Okay, yeah, that, that's feeling much better now. I'm more confident in that. But I'm going to do it one more time, just to be sure. And I'm just going to put it off to the side for now because it needs to be plugged because it's going dead on me. So while that's doing that, let's fix this. And what I'm going to do to fix it is literally just fill in any divots I see. Just let the resin do its thing. Fill in any divots. And there's not many at all. There's not many imperfections, but you can tell like there's a hole right there. Now you can tell where you need, like there's a huge hole right there. I'm not sure if you guys, you see that? That's a huge hole. Like there's lots of imperfections in this, on this side. So I'm just going to take my clear resin and I'm going to fill her in. I'm just going to drop it in there really slow. Let it fill in. Let it do its thing. And then I'll go over with my little dotting tool and make sure I got everything. Mm, there's a hole right there. Okay. that one I'm just gonna basically like give it an even coat over
Let me go ahead and speed this up for you guys though. Okay guys, so we're back and I put everything back under the lamp for another 300 as well as doing this lighter a couple times underneath for 90 second intervals because that's the max time that my little mini UV lamp holds and I think I'm pretty confident that it's done now. Feels pretty hard. Now it took me about 12 13 minutes to top this off to fill these holes and I still didn't get it like perfectly all the way to the edges but I am pretty happy with that so as you can see let's see if I can get it closer that is that And I like that. I'm not I'm not mad at that at all. So let's go ahead and unmold this lighter case and hope for the best. Just as we did with everything else at this point. Now it's looking good. It feels dry. I'm just going to go for it now. I'm just pulling at it at the tips to try and loosen that grip. This thing is so hard to get off. Okay. Now, at this point, we just wiggle it out because we don't want to tear the mold. So I like to just wiggle mine out. And there we go. And I don't see any wet resin on here. So I'm hoping that the entire inside is completely cured. So let's fix this thing back if I can. This has to be one of the tightest molds ever. Especially when you have to unmold it and flip it back. Like, where? who has the trick to flipping these things back? How they're supposed to go without destroying them. Because I'm having a hard time. Especially with this mold. Everything else is pretty simple. Because, you know, you just pull it away, but... This one here, ooh, that was a workout. So, everything's shiny, smooth, no fingerprints going on there. So, that's that. That is completely done. And that, I'm proud of this little, you know, this little set. This dog tag. I'm going to put some vinyl on it. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm going to put some vinyl on it. And a jump ring. Make this a keychain for myself. I was going to give it to my baby girl for a necklace. But this is cute. I like it. So we'll have the 
matching keychain with the what are these called brass knuckles but they're not brass knuckles because they're resin so yeah but yeah little safe safe defense self defense oh that's exactly how they're supposed to fit <laughs> that's cute let's do a black background see in the light what it looks like okay so I'm happy with that as you can see I was able to fix the holes in there I'm not sure if you can tell it was a hole but it's like a gap of glitter so you could probably see it better right there there's a little gap of glitter that's where the hole was so now completely covered and smooth and we did that around the entire back and I am happy with that I'm happy with that so the mold is shiny because the back is still shiny and that's the part that we peeled out so yeah I'm not going to worry about doing like no fouling on this. Why? Because it's self-defense, right? So you want it to be a little sharp. As long as these are smooth, which they are, they were poured perfectly. And this is smooth, which it is. You're great because everything else needs to be nice and sharp. So... I'm happy with that. I don't know if you can. Are you supposed to do it like that too? Can you? I guess you can. Yeah. And then you use these little parts. Right there. So. Yeah. That's what they look like. And I am happy with how that came out. Um, Let me go grab a lighter. So I can just pop one in here. So you can see. Okay, so I grabbed a regular plain black Bix lighter. I was going to peel off this sticker, but this is pretty opaque. So I don't think we're even going to need to do that. Remember we did add that purple, that purple colored UV resin from J Diction. This one right here that comes in the eight, eight um, count. Well, eight color. And that turned it pretty pink. So, and I used lots of clear resin to dilute it, of course. So you literally just stick that in there. And it fits like a glove. And your lighter still works. So, that's that. And I was really concerned about, like, breaking the lighters while trying to, like, switch them out. Or breaking this while switching it out. But it's really easy. Like you can literally use your hand and wiggle it out. See? Well, I took it out and then pushed it right back in. But pretty easy. It just snaps right out. So push it down in there and you're good to go. So I'm going to probably finish this one off in a short. Not going to finish it off now. I need to eat. So those are our projects for today thank you for tuning in for another video i am really into this resin i'm not gonna lie to y'all so y'all gonna be getting more of these projects but um yeah that's our uv resin for today thanks again for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you next time